If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Digital World 2020. Thank you so much for being here and sorry for the delay in the start of the stream, but we are here. We are going to be taking a look at several, um, several certain shield decks from the new set, starting with Obstagoon. This is a list that I have for Obstagoon. Um, I feel like most lists will be looking very, very similar in a way, um, and I don't know, Obstagoon feels like a very good meta call where if people don't tech for it, such as playing Fion, such as playing <coughs> Evolutions and things like that, um, they will end up auto losing to it, but if people are ready for it, then it's not going to be a very impactful deck. Now, Obstagoon, with its ability Untamed Shout, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put three damage counters on one of your po on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So you get that little bit of extra damage going, which is always very very nice. And thank you so much for the follow, Manuno B. Um, and then you have, um, and then you have the uh, Obstruct attack, which does 90 damage for a Darkness and a Colorless. And during your front next turn, you prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from basic Pokemon. So, <coughs> in Attack Team V uh, dominated format, then um, Obstruct seems like a very powerful attack. We also have the Six Sigun, which does um, the same thing essentially, Headbutt Tantrum when you play this Pokemon from your hand to your bench. You put one damage counter on one of your opponent's Pokemon, which is really nice. Um, the attacks, surprise attack, like nothing impactful, but that extra damage counter plays plays very nicely in combination with the Obstagoon because when you place four damage counters, you can use Evolutal GX's Doom Count GX, where your opponent's active Pokemon is immediately knocked out if they have exactly four damage counters. And Kula Diamond, yep, yeah, Baby Blounce is definitely a deck that needs to uh, be ready for this um, with at least a Fion, but probably something else. Um, I, and I mean, you have Blast Level and GX to confuse and burn, um, but it can be, it should be a very tough matchup. And Gil TV, thank you so much for the follow as well. <coughs> we also have Stable IV, <coughs> one of the new V Pokemon from the set, which has Load Search, where you put a trainer card from your discard ball into your hand. But with two energies, you do Crazy Claws, which does 10 damage plus 60 more for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So obviously placing damage counters with Sigsagoon and with Obstagoon will be pretty impactful. Now we have Jirachi for consistency, we have Mew for bench protection, but also Psy Power adds to the damage counters that you are placing, which is also very nice. And we have um, Shadow Box Mimikyu because we want to turn off any abilities that we can and punish not playing... Um, not playing things like um, Stealthyhood, Stealthyhood in Mew 3 decks, which I don't think I've seen too much Stealthyhood lately. Um, Supporters wise, we have, of course, our four beautiful professors research, three Marnies, and three Rosa. Rosa is especially powerful in this deck because it allows you to directly search for an energy, a bird candy, and an Obstagoon to immediately evolve and start applying pressure. We have our four Quick Balls, three Pokegoms, and two Evolution Incense. Um, the Evolution Incense and Pokegom count could be um, switched around or something, but overall, um, you want a lot of Pokemon search, right? 
and Okaruta, howdy, uh, D25 Wang, thank you so much for the welcome back, I, I appreciate I, I appreciate you watching my videos, and I do intend for at least this, this first burst of um, Sword and Shield to have double videos every day on the channel, so if you're watching this, um, like we are live right now, but um, this video should be going up tomorrow, Saturday to the channel, and then in the morning and then in the afternoon there will be double videos. I'm gonna try and have double videos for at least another, for at least a week if not more. Hello Ryan. And like everything is pretty self-explanatory I think other than the counter gain. The counter gain allows us to attack for one energy which is pretty, pretty big. So let's jump into the ladder and let's see if we can get some wins off of um, off of Obstagoon and so you can see I have a bunch of decks right there uh, Stone Journer, Reelaboom, Turbo Station with Galarian Perserker, Morpico, Macargo, Asinchino Mill deck, Frostmoth, yeah I spent the whole morning just building decks, I spent like an hour just building decks, building um, different concepts, Cinderace is in there as well um, Hello Turbo Darkness, I'm doing well, thank you, how about you? So we should be good to go. Yeah, we should be good to go. And on Sunday, you will be able to take a look at um, these decks more in depth in the uh, show match we are playing against Limitless TCG. So that should be pretty fun. My team, Brave Birds, is playing against the Limitless TCG team. Did you just speak Spanish, Okaruta? Uh, I don't think I did, um, but I speak Spanish overall. <laughs> I am from Mexico, so I do speak Spanish. Hmm. So my opponent chose to go first, yet they simply drew past. And that is why you should not be choosing to go first, in my opinion. Okay. Um, so, like, that doesn't mean their hand is dead, right? That definitely doesn't mean their hand is dead at all. However, um, we're definitely going to take advantage of this. Okay, uh, I don't I feel like I don't want to lose the ordinary rod. So I'm gonna discard this and I'm gonna set up another one of these guys. And we'll bench it. I do want to play the damage counter and then we'll go ahead and Marnie. And alright. Alright, I don't mind this at all. I really don't mind this at all. Um, I get to conserve Energy attachment. I also get a Stella Wish, which is never a bad thing. Um, I believe I'm gonna get the Quick Ball. Yeah, the Quick Ball makes sense. And then I wanna use the Quick Ball. Discarding the energy? Yeah, discarding the energy. And. I'll establish another judge. I feel like that's pretty important for this matchup. So I'll do that and then I will pass. Right? And hopefully I'll have five cards my opponent can't get like a turn two full blitz. It's not turn one because he went first, but turn two full blitz seems pretty difficult um, for him right now. Hopefully. Um, oh Garuda, I'm not sure what I said. Maybe. Maybe. And Grave, hello, and thank you so much for resubscribing. 17 months. Thank you so much for the support. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, Kula Diamond recommended tech for baby blounts against this. So, I mean, depends on your blounts build, right? But if you're playing and Jam Dubs, thank you so much for the follow. I feel like I should make this bigger. So it's easier to tell. Um,. So, text can be Fion, right? Because then you send the obstacle to the bench and then that's fine, right? You can attack whatever is in front now. <coughs> and I assume you're playing Blasphalon GX, so then you would just like confuse and burn it. So, basically, like with Fion and Blasphalon, if they have, if they're not benching anything else, then you confuse that guy and eventually they'll flip tails and you'll be able to KO the one obstacle they have. But if they have bench stuff, then you can keep using Fion to send the Obstagoon back and then KO something else. Yeah, I think that would be the best way to to deal with that. Um, what stadiums am I playing in this deck? I'm not playing any stadiums. I did not add a single stadium. The deck is very tight trying to fit the stage 2 lines and everything. And Okaruta, how do you follow someone on Twitch? Um, if you're 
if you're well I'm not sure if you're on um, on mobile or on a computer but all you need to do is like um, is um, there must be like a heart somewhere where you get to follow um, can I play seeking trick shovel is there a new seeking that's good okay I'm gonna counter game there and I played it six seconds so okay this one damage counter is pretty or could be pretty impactful um, there's a chance I KO Jirachi sometime soon. I feel like it should go on the Absol. I feel like that's correct. And then let's go ahead and Professor's Research. Clean Professor's Research, which is awesome. Um, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and Stellwish before I commit to the Evolution Instance. All right, that's pretty nice. Really sad that I didn't get an energy though. Really, really sad that I did not get an energy because I actually would have been able to start attacking now. So very sad that I did not hit an energy. Um, these three damage counters. I think I want to place them on the Jirachi actually. Because hear me out. I'm going to go ahead and Pokecom the Linun. For my last six Sigun, which is pretty crazy. Oh, if I imagine if I hit an well, yeah, if I hit an energy because I got the switch, and then I will place the one damage counter here, and then I will go evolution instance on the Linen. Go ahead and evolve, and then I will simply pass here, All right? And hopefully our next professor's research gets us a, um, a an energy to start attacking. Yeah, hopefully, 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 hopefully. Eh, prontísimo. Eh, se va a poder comprar cartas en la tienda en dos horas. Entonces, no te preocupes. No, no es injusto. En dos horas estará. Um, does hood help against six second? It would help, right? You prevent the damage from six second and from off second. Um, but obviously, the obstruct is still an issue for all these decks. Um, feels like a Larian Six Second should be put in a Tina Chump deck. Yeah, possibly, possibly. Immediately get the damage boost. And okay. Wow, very nice. All right, so <coughs> that was a fantastic top deck <clears throat> because I get to KO the Jirachi and my opponent is forced to promote something. And here is where my opponent perhaps would like to promote the Absol because it's not that impactful, but now it's in range of getting KO'd as well. So things are looking very good. Okay, so it is the Dene. Let's go ahead and still wish. Uh, I'm already gonna lose two switches unless I Marty instead of Professor's Research, and I think that is gonna be a little better. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go ahead and switch, right? And I'm hoping to draw an energy here. If I don't draw an energy, I'm gonna be very, very sad. I do indeed find an energy which is fantastic not much else going on right not much else going on but that's okay um i should quick ball though just to thin in case i get marty myself and i'm gonna grab the evil tall gx and tell my opponent well here is this threat so be careful and now there should be i mean unless my opponent plays fion this turn there should be nothing threatening the obstagoon this becomes a fairly easy two prizes towards the end of the game, so we'll see. Yeah, we shall see. Um, Grandy Lakers, you've quit playing TCGO around on Broken Bus. Do you think the meta is in a better state now with Storm Shield? I mean, the set just came out yesterday, but I would imagine so. Yeah, Storm Shield introduces so many new cards, so many new powerful cards, so many new concepts, and the rule changes, and there we go. Um, that I think it's going to be shaken up quite a bit. But I feel like we always get to a point where there's a very clear, like, top tier decks, right? Three, four um, top tier decks, and then people get tired of it, and then we get a new set, and then fresh cards come in, and we always get into that cycle, right? And that's always going to happen. They need to release powerful cards in order to keep selling the cards, right? Um, otherwise, if they release a set that only has bad cards, then that set won't sell, and um, 
Yeah, so like business model wise, there will always be something new, something good, something more powerful than before and something that people will complain about. So I feel like, what do you care? I feel like it, I don't know. <coughs> the meta is completely new and completely fresh now with certain shields. That is for sure. Yeah, that is for sure. If there's a good time to to start like getting back into it and potentially looking into the future, like eventually we will have a sword and shield on modified formats or standard format, right? So investing into this set is a good um, a good way to like lay the groundwork, you know? A good way to lay the groundwork for that. Um, <coughs> Okay, will I go to Australia? Unfortunately not grave since <coughs> since I didn't get any points in Brazil, um, I did not get a stipend, so I will not be going to to Australia. Um, which is a bit sad. Yeah, it's the second I've it's the second Australian tournament I end up missing. Um, alright. So Pokecom top deck was nice. It's just I don't want to get rid of too many resources. Like I value the energy, you know. That's that's the thing. I really value the energy. I'm gonna lose the Rosa anyways next turn with Professor's research, and clearly, um, very clearly, my opponent is going to. Um, I won't grab any of these actually. Um, very clearly, my opponent is going to. Um, to take a few turns to like really get set up, right? So I'm even gonna hold this Galarian Six again in my hand, purely because I my opponent gets to bench something else and then I get to put the damage counter on something else. Yeah. Um, I do have Rillaboom built for today, Poophead. <laughs> um, hello, Iverserk. I do have Rillaboom built, so that deck. Like my plan is to stream for like five hours if I can. Yeah, at least three, hopefully more. Yeah, so we should be able to go through a nice variety of decks. Why didn't I Juniper Reaver Zellwish? Because I literally can't, because I would be getting a double price penalty or potentially a game loss if I did that. <laughs> so that is why. Um, all right, so very nice start for my opponent. There's the Absol as well, in fact, so not bad. Yeah, not bad. Um... Some stage two decks are viable, possibly. Mewtwo Mist Slash goes through Obstagoon. Yes, it does. Kula Diamond, it does go through um, Obstagoon's effect. Am I trying Sinchino's Norlax VMAX? I didn't build that a long way to be pro. However, um, I did build um, a Sinchino Mill deck. And I feel like Snorlax Sinchino VMAX will be good in Expanded. Yeah, that's where you would expect Snorlax VMAX to be really, really good. Okay, I feel like I should start benching the Sable IV. Like, I won't get too much from another damage counter right now. Um, though I will place it here just in case. And if I... The Absol might make it very difficult for me to attack this turn. Um, oof, once again, the energy. The energy ends up being the card that I'm missing. Maybe 9 is just not enough. Right? Maybe 9 is just not enough. Um, Alright, so I'll go ahead and place 4 damage counters here. Or the 4th, rather. I'll go ahead and bench this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and Stella Wish. Skateboard is nice, but it's not fantastic. Because of the Absol. Um, I think it's still... Well, maybe I just grab this switch, actually. So I have Knockout on this. After, like, the Jirachi will go down, right? Jirachi will definitely go down and then I go I can Rosa into the evil tall GX and get a KO, which is pretty nice. Um Rilla Boom does a lot of damage to Obstagoon, uh, but it's not a one hit KO, so it's a trade of two hit KOs and that's fine. Um Alright. Alright. Um Claro que sí, Fabian, paso la decklist va a estar en, en el video. Um I've been okay, Jedi, I've been okay, thank you. Life life is tough. Being an adult is tough, but we're all out here trying our best, you know? <laughs> oh, he heals himself. Oh, I forgot about that. So then I need another Pokemon. I need an Obstacle, right? Okay, so then let's just start pressuring with the Obstacle. 
I think that's gonna make more sense. All right, so no KO from Evil Tall. So I guess placing the damage there is a big waste, actually. <laughs> um, so I'll do that, I'll do that, and then... Uh, thank you so much for a follow, Big Junior420. Uh, so what's... What do I want? I can rare candy. What trainer do I even want? Quick ball? And I just get rid of the Pokecon? Yeah, I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. So I'll rare candy here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll put the damage here. Oh, with the Quick Ball I could have done it. Because I already have the candy. No, oh, duh. I could have actually gotten the KO here. Oh my gosh, that was so silly. I could have doom counted. Yep, I just I just realized it. I just I like quick ball was the way I could have gotten that second Pokemon I said I needed. That was very silly. That was very silly of me, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Alright, so then we'll go ahead and obstruct. Okay. So there's the punish for not knowing exactly um like everything about this deck. Yeah, there's we're learning. Yeah, this is the first the second game. And I'm playing this, that's a mistake on my part. Yeah, I will own up to it. <laughs> I will own up to it. But basically, like it's probably not gonna be a big deal, because in the end, I should have more obstacles set up than my opponent will have three levels. So it shouldn't be a big deal. It really shouldn't be that big of a deal that I made that mistake or that I missed that KO. You know, it really shouldn't be. It just means it's gonna take me longer to win. But I'm still pretty confident that I'm gonna win. Still pretty confident with this hand that I'm in an okay spot. Should be in an okay spot. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, congrats on reaching Affiliate Jedi. That's awesome. <laughs> um, Stone Journey Remax is so good, I Berserk. I actually built that deck based on um, Omnipoke's list. So we could definitely, um, well, we'll see, right? I'm, de I'm definitely gonna play that in the near future. How do you think this deck is against ADP Sation? I mean, depends on their film count and how quickly they can find it and also how quickly you can set up. But overall, it should be a decent matchup, I feel. Just basic lock it and don't overbench. Do you think Nuzzle Chew still- wait, how did I get KO'd? What? Oh, I'm weak to grass, what the heck? Oh my god, I'm weak to grass, I had not realized that. I generally had not realized that I'm weak to grass. <laughs> I think I'm still okay, but I generally had not realized that this Pokemon is weak to grass. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so this damage counter, right? Where does this damage counter go? And Cage the Enigma, thank you so much for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Very, very kind of you. Where does this damage goal. I feel like it goes here. And then we'll go ahead and Professor's Research. I'm not happy about losing another energy. Or an energy rather. Um, right, no Rosa. It's tough. Yeah. I mean, I do have Stellarish though, so it should be fine. I'm gonna do this. I'm also going to... Quick ball for thinning purposes. Am I? Yeah, I should. Just to thin. I'll get rid of the Jirachi, it's fine. And I'll grab the Evil Doll. And then we'll go ahead and. Maybe I'll play the Poké Doll. And then I'll go ahead and obstruct. So I, I'm i gonna get KO'd again, but I feel like we're gonna create a win condition where um, without any real booms, my opponent will be in, in a world of trouble, right? In a world of trouble. But yeah, I definitely made a mistake because if I KO'd this with Evil Tall, um, I still have my 
my people, right? My people are available. Um, does get back the Malolana, so my opponent might make a defensive play here of retreating, perhaps. Oh my gosh. What? Oh boy. Um, well, that's bad. That is very, very bad. How did he have the... Ugh, everything. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is really bad, for sure. Because I don't have a stadium, either. <laughs> they don't have a stadium. Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna Stellar Wish. For the professor's research. Um, yeah, I'm in trouble. Or is it the super rod? Or the ordinary rod, rather? No, it can't be. Then I just lose. Oof. I think I've lost that stadium. Because now he fully heals. Yeah, I'm dead. I think. Fairly sure I'm dead. No ordinary rod either, no switch. <laughs> I have not played a single switch, I have seven cards. Um Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead because even if yeah, I have no way to win. Oh, that was harsh. That stadium though. Without that stadium, I would have been... I wouldn't have been fine because I didn't draw a switch, right? Um, that would have been... That was terrible, but... Well... One... I... One real boom, yeah? Is the meta already established, Dante? No, definitely not. Like, the set came out yesterday. There's no meta. There's no meta. Marty should come up well with smooth over Cargo. Yeah, yeah. What is this Inchino mill deck about? Well, it's Inchino, so you draw a lot of cards, and then it plays Oranguru, of course, and it plays four Belilba, Bryson Man, and it uses my Cargo GX as well to mill. So it should be a pretty fun deck to use. Okay, so I'm not gonna bench this, even though there's a chance I get more need. I do want the damage counters placed, right? Yeah, I got I got run over by Rillaboom. <coughs> <coughs> got run over by Rillaboom. <clears throat> Maybe Fala or Shrine of Punishment could be good. Yeah, I guess stadiums would definitely be good. Like a, a couple of stadiums would be good. Did I color my hair? No. It's just the lights. I've never in my life colored my hair. <laughs> I've never used any product on my hair other than shampoo and conditioner. And um, hair cream, I guess. Okay, so we're up against more Pico. More Pico V. I would like to place a damage counter on the more Pico. We'll go ahead and attach energy. Go ahead and bench this. And then, no point in using evolution incense. Losing the energy, I'm not happy about. Um, but this is a pretty, pretty good hand, right? This is definitely a pretty good hand. I feel like this deck doesn't have a lot of cards that it wants to discard, though. Um. All right, so to conserve, I'm gonna put back the Obstacoon. And then I feel like I'm gonna grab the Mimikyu. And that's what I'm gonna discard for the Quick Wall. And now I'll grab this person. Uh, maybe that wasn't right though. Maybe that wasn't great. I'll go ahead, Delvish, grab a switch. I mean, is it worth it to switch now? No, I don't think it is. I'll just pass. I don't know. Maybe I did that wrong. Maybe I should have just Pokecom for a 6 second and Quick Bolt away the Evolution Instance for another 6 second. That was probably better. Um, uh, locals are dead in your city. That sucks, Dante. Where do you live? Scorch meal seems interesting. I haven't. I don't know what Scorch does. 
Um, Save OIV with Weezing Roxy? Yeah, I could definitely do that. How many Jarach am I playing? I'm playing three, I think. I could play Swell, yeah. I could play Swell. Um, I don't know anything about Legends of Runeterra, honestly. I don't know anything about Legends of Runeterra. Um, okay, I feel like if I hit a Rare Candy off of the Stella Wish, I can, I can start attacking with Obstacoon. There we go. So that's why it was worth it to, to Stella Wish before... Um, before committing to... Um, before committing to either any supporter. Alright, so 60 HP, 60 HP, 60 HP. So my opponent clearly does not have a... Um, a good hand, right? A great hand. I'll go ahead and switch, and then I don't want a Marnie, I just want a Professor's Research. And alright, alright, alright. Um, I think I get rid of the Jirachi here to establish this person. And then next turn, this 10 damage, uh, it doesn't matter here, so I'll just put it here. And then I'll go ahead and obstruct. All right, looking good, looking good. What are your thoughts on green stretches art in the new format? I feel like all of the green stacks really suffer from the new turn one rule. And I feel like all of the green stacks really suffer from the new turn one rule because of, um, because you can't play greens on turn one. You can't play tackle into syndicate lane on turn one. You can't Guzma Hall on turn one. You can't coach trainer on turn one. So I definitely think those decks are gonna lose out um, on a lot of potential because of that. And I think all green stacks are weakened. So I would definitely try ability Reshi's art before, um, before greens Reshi's art. Uh, for each energy attached to Sentry's Scorch, you mill one card from your opponent's deck. That actually sounds pretty good. Okay, so there's already a more Pico VMAX. And he already has the energy as well. Um, okay, so the memory energy too. I have no way to cost this guy though. I have no way to cost this guy. So do I just need to like focus all my damage there? The thing is, if he uses the this attack, he's not actually KOing me. So by do, doing that, I put him in range of um, of Evil Tall TX, right? And I think that's pretty okay. Okay, and we get our first two prizes here. Get our first two prizes. One of which is a very welcome professor's research. The other perfect price would have been a word candy, right? Once again, losing these energies is very, very hurtful. Very, very hurtful. Like I said, my opponent has to make a, a big decision here. Because um, if he uses... Well, I guess if he has Electro Powers, right? But if you use Electro Wheel, I am not getting KO'd. There's an Electro Power, so there you go. I am getting KO'd. <coughs> I am getting KO'd. And we're getting marnie I don't mind that at all too much. My hand wasn't great. I get to conserve my energies. I've unlocked the Professor's Research from my prize cards. There's a Rosa as well. There's a Rosa as well. Right, so um, there's really no point in me attacking these guys, right? There's really no point. My opponent has one Pokemon, one threat, and that's it. And XCGX32, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, put for damage on this guy and then GX, that is correct. But the thing is, the big boy goes back to the bench every time. So... Alright. Um, not bad, right? Not bad at all. I feel like I should Rosa here. And I can grab Obstacoon. I can grab this. 
and I can grab an energy. No, not this, sorry, I meant the other Rosa. Evil Tall GX is in there, right? Evil Tall GX is in there. So, sure, let's go ahead and still wish. Um, I don't mind this. Yeah, I definitely don't mind that. And then I'll go ahead and rare candy. And then I'll go ahead and put the three damage here. This could be an extra prize. Like my win condition is GX this, obstacle this. And then I'll split up the energy. Split the difference. Alright. And then I'll pass. So I wonder what my opponent does this. Triples and chin already, so that's an extra seven cards each turn. Which my opponent is at 15 cards. Maybe there's a chance they end up decking themselves out. There's the energy that's also his her sixth energy. And she doesn't have infinite energy, right? So at some point she might need to use max discharge rather than um, going back to the bench, you know. Alright, so there's a Cynthia. That's good as well because of less ways to return. Okay, so my opponent decides to pass. Um, so I guess I'm passing as well. Like, that was odd. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and Marnie. Didn't do anything. Didn't really do anything here. That was interesting. Go ahead and bench. Um, there's the damage there. Go ahead and attach here. And I'll just pass. Yeah, if you want to play this game, we'll play this game. I have the ordinary rod to put four cards back. I'm going to just drop passing. Okay. I mean, we, I can play this, that game too. Huh. What is her strategy? What do you think of Black Market in this deck? I feel like there's not a lot of space for too many stadiums. And that's a big deal. Um, okay. I guess the question is, how many Electro Powers does she play? I guess that is the biggest question here. Um, okay, I'm gonna play the Ordinary Rod. Oh, do both. Yeah, I was gonna be like, wait, I can't do both? These two. And these two. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach here. I'm gonna evolve. I feel like I should just damage this guy, right? Should just damage. Okay. There's Rosa, there's a bunch of things I'm definitely happy to see. We both have Lily's Pokeball, right? So neither of us can really deck out ever. I'm hoping. I feel like eventually I should win this one. Thank you, Trick Shovel. <laughs> Good luck at school. At school. Okay. Is the sound okay, by the way? Is the sound okay? Is the music okay? I assume it, it is because no one has said anything. Okay, another energy. Electro power, so another dead obstacle. So how many electro powers does he have? Does she have, sorry? She have. That's the biggest question here. That is the biggest question. Right. 
Party is good? Okay. Would I consider streaming Temtem? I haven't played the, the, the game yet. Um, it seems fun, right? It definitely seems fun, but... Okay. Um... <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and quick pull the Jirachi. This, and I have Wandering Candy left. Okay, so my win condition has now become... KO this, and like whatever else ends up getting promoted. Um, three, four, five, six, should be fine. Just gonna still wish for the candy. And then, yeah. I'll obstruct, right? And then all I need to do is rare candy into this, or if this stays active, then I choose GX this, or... Oh. I mean, I can still use Mew to attack, right? To pick off this guy, so it should be fine. How many dolls are left? All of them. Oh, goes after the Mew. Interesting. Interesting. How many energies does my opponent play? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I must be running low by now. Six cards versus ten. Okay, I'll grab that. I'll grab that. I'll grab the doll. This is such a weird game, not gonna lie. Um, okay, so I'm gonna bench the doll. I'm gonna retreat into the doll. And I'm gonna use the doll's ability. Um, goodbye, Coco. Get a Rosa. Energy. I'll literally spoke it all. I'll promote this. And then I'll go ahead and attach. And obstruct. And it's two electro powers, right? Oh, three electro powers now. At some point, that more Pico V will not be able to KO me in one hit. Obviously, she plays four dolls, so maybe I should have been carrying the dolls when I had the chance. Marty, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Thirteen. Ooh. Well, there's still access to Evil Doll GX. There's another doll. Okay, there's Electro Wheel, right? Electro wheel. But that's the last electro power. Oh, I think she's gonna win. I think she's going to win here. Hmm, I think she's going to beat me now. Yeah, I needed to get rid of the dolls earlier, I guess. That's only the second doll out of four. So what happens now, if she has enough energy, right, is she attacks me and goes back to another doll, then I KO that doll, and then she attacks me again, goes back into the last doll, and then she attacks me with Max Discharge for the win. And nothing survives a Max Discharge in my deck. <coughs> Yeah, the energies. She doesn't have infinite energies. One, two. Yep, Thunder Mountain. Does she have one more energy though? She didn't attach energy this turn. She didn't attach energy this turn. 
Alright, so this is the, the key turn. This is the key turn. This is the key turn. You got a lot you you love the new set quick ball? Yeah, I agree. Uh Nacto, yeah, it's memory energy. It's memory energy that allows my opponent to continue to do this. Marnie, that's fine. Does she have that extra lightning? Spark. Okay, there we go. Finally, this guy stays in the active, right? Finally. Finally, this person is in the active. So now, I just need my Evil Doll, right? I need Evil Doll and Energy. So I'll grab the Rosa. This was intense, though. This was definitely very intense. I just need the Evil Doll because I have the Energy. Four damage counters. And there we go! Didn't allow me to click, but oof, that was very well played by my opponent though. Very well fought. Those turns where she just drew past, I feel like were not great, but it was also okay because Yeah, I guess she would have lost energy if she had just been attacking my goal. So Alright, GG. Very nice showing for Obstagoon, and that will be all for Obstagoon for today. Okay, so I have a bunch of decks built. I will be right back in just a second. I'm gonna go get some water and I'll be right back. But like I said, we have Sinchino Mill, Cinderace, Firebox, Frostmoth, Lucky Blounds, uh, Rillaboon, Morpico, Macargo, Stone Turner, Turbo Station, Station, Malcario, and that's it, right? But that's 3, 6, 9, 11 different decks still to go. I will probably be playing Rillaboom next because I feel like that's got enough hype and then like it's gonna be Rillaboom and then Frostmoth and then we'll see what else. So don't go anywhere, I will be right back in just a second.